Well, I was right about my lettuce taking off once it got its um, roots down into the out into the what the heck is it? This uh, the hydroponic solution. This one obviously is doing the best. This one's not doing too bad. This one's following up the rear, but they're coming along. Let's see if I can get these closer without getting them out of focus. So. I have been having issues with fungus gnats, so I took the, um, a lot of issues with fungus gnats, so I took the wildflower seedlings and put them outside because they were really, really having problems with the fungus gnats. Um, now I seem to be having problems with small beetles that seem to be landing on and occasionally chewing on my um, lettuce, so I'm trying to keep that under control halfway thinking about a get, about getting a Venus flytrap and setting it up next to it just to keep the stupid things from chewing on everything. This time of year is really, really bad for beetles. I don't know why, but we get these itty bitty tiny little beetles that come in at this time of year and just chew on everything. But that's me lettuce. It's growing well. Despite of everything. Or in spite of everything. My mango sapling is just growing berserk. Once again, it's got multiple new leaves. I mean, these were the last ones I showed you guys, the ones came up over the top. Now it's got four new leaves coming in. And, um, boy, it's just been kind of growing like gangbusters lately. Not sure if it's the heat or if I've been watering it too little or too much, and all of a sudden it hit a growth spurt the last time I watered it. I don't know. But it's uh, it's definitely growing like gangbusters. So I'm happy with it. It's really pretty. Uh, the blighted avocado sapling I finally got rid of. Um, it was just, it, it kept dying. It wasn't doing good. And it just, it never recovered. So I um, finally made the decision to get rid of it, take it out. Uh, the other one, however, is still doing quite good, growing fairly strong and healthy. Right now the fan is blowing it around because um, <clears throat> we're due for weather in the 90s, low to mid-90s for the next week and a half to two weeks. So I've, we've got fans on all over the house, so that's why it's moving at the moment. Here is the biochar mini bell pepper. It um, really doesn't look like it's grown much. Well, truthfully, neither of them have grown much, but this is the one with the biochar. And next to it, if I can get this camera tripod, move a little bit. Is the other one, the control. Um, other than looking green and healthy, they really haven't seemed to grow much. So, well, that's the update on them. I'm hoping I'll see something soon. That maybe with the weather getting up into the 90s uh, over the next two weeks, maybe it'll see some growth. Um, I had my actual first bean harvest over the last week. I got six beans over several days. Um, this one's almost ready to harvest. Well, technically, I suppose I could harvest it right now, but I want to wait until it gets a little bit bigger. I've still got small beans all over this, though. This is kind of a very quick update today because it's just too hot. But, um... As you can see, the heat hasn't been doing the greatest for the wildflower seedlings that I brought outside to help deal with the uh, fungus gnat infestation in them. I uh, watered them today, but some of them are wilting pretty badly, and well, that one's pretty much dead. But, uh, yeah. So, well, maybe they'll survive, maybe they won't. We'll see. Interesting news with my um, 
one of my red robin cherry tomato plants it's actually got blossoms that have opened and have actually stayed and are hanging on the plant whether or not I've actually managed to get them um, pollinated I don't know but some of them are opening so and looking like they're actually going to survive so maybe I will actually get some cherry tomatoes off of at least one of these tomato plants this year I don't know about the other one because all the blossoms dropped off of it so I don't know if it'll grow more or not it might just be done so but this one has plenty of blossoms on it and quite a few of them actually look like they're going to be opening so yay instead of just opening and falling out so hooray hooray I might actually get some cherry tomatoes this year My Traveler Strain Jalapeno is doing wonderful, although I'm really thinking I need to either pot it up into a larger pot, or I need to add more potting soil to this pot, because it's just, it's getting kind of big, and it's still growing new leaves. <clears throat> As you can see, not this, this is my Nanking cherry. One of my apple saplings lost all of its leaves due to um, powdery mildew. They just kind of all came off. I don't know if this sapling is done for or not, since it has no leaves now. But um, I'm going to leave it set and hope that it re-sprouts. I don't know. If it doesn't, I may have lost one of my apple seedlings. A friend of mine gave me some mint plants that are growing pretty well. A little bit of hair on them. But uh, yeah, so I have now I now have mint growing in my garden that's looking really green and healthy. I set it out here next to my blueberries in the hopes that it might ward off other things, but sadly it looks like Oh, I'm seeing what looks to be maybe aphids on the mint, so maybe not so good an idea. Oh, well, if it isn't one thing, it's another. Live and learn. Aphids are spider mites, I'm not sure which. They're very, very tiny, and they're white. So, they might be spider mites. Oh, well. Doggone it. <clears throat> In other news, the blueberries are still continuing to be eaten by the unknown caterpillar assailant. I've got chew marks on the brand new leaves that I just, that are growing, so I know it's still there. I still haven't been able to find the culprit. So the quest continues to find the mysterious chewer. It doesn't seem to be eating the other blueberry. <clears throat> much that's right next to it but it there's are some leaves that have been chewed on so i don't know i don't know if it prefers the one variety over the other which it seems to or if it just hasn't managed to get over to the other one yet it's really kind of annoying but i keep looking in the hopes of finding it and getting rid of it so far no dice But down here is one of the raspberry canes that I potted up, and it's growing amazingly well. So it looks like at least one of the raspberry plants will survive, and I might actually get some raspberries next year. So, hey, there we go. <clears throat> the Yukon Gold Potato um, seems to continue growing. I have two vines still growing in this self-watering grow bin. Um, they still seem to be just growing gangbusters. I don't know when I should actually harvest these at all because, well, I'd heard that, you know, 100 days is how long it takes for them to get to maturity. 
and then the vines supposedly start dying back but these are these are well over <coughs> excuse me well over a hundred days old and um, they're still growing and still green and haven't started dying off at all so I have no idea so I'm just gonna keep letting them go and see if they flower and things like that who knows maybe with the heat coming up they might bolt and go to flower so ever watchful and on the opposite side here we have my Viking purple potatoes or Viking uh, preferred potatoes or Viking favorite I'm not sure anymore what the name is but um, again they're still growing exceptionally well tall healthy green all the way down still green uh, they'll be hitting the 100 day mark about the end of this month so I've no idea again because they're still um, still looking tall green and healthy so who knows I I don't I'm gonna let them go and see what they do who knows hopefully I'll get some potatoes out of it and that's kind of kind of it for the update today Ugh, yeah because I'm gonna be getting in out of the heat soon because it's already edging up to 80 degrees Let's see if I can get that in the... Nope, not at the moment. I was going to see if I could get the thermometer in the, the... The thermostat, not thermometer, in the shop. But I can't, so... Anyway, thanks for watching, YouTubers. Um, please share, subscribe. Um, if you have any thoughts, ideas, questions, or advice on anything, please feel free to drop me an email at onthebalconywithcat at live.com. Thank you much. Take care. Bye-bye.